Karibu kwa taarifa zetu mimi ni Mashiri Makapombe. Tunaanza na taarifa hiyo kuhusiana na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye amezindua tovuti na yaratibu miradi ya maendeleo iliyotekelezwa na serikali yake kwa miaka minne ambayo imekuwa mamlakani. Miradi hiyo inajumuisha mikakati iliyotekelezwa na wizara zote moja kwenye serikali ya sasa ikiwemo mradi wa reli ya kisasa, barabara, umeme na nyanja kama za elimu, biashara na viwanda. Uzinduzi wa tovuti hiyo umefanyika kwenye ukumbi wa kongamano la kimataifa la Kenyatta hapa jijini Nairobi. What we have is monies collected by the National Treasury through the Kenya Revenue Authority. The monies that go to the counties is a share of what the national government through its institutions has collected from the people of the Republic of Kenya in total. In total. Then we share that revenue. And we share that revenue because the Constitution, in the wisdom of the people of Kenya, decided that there were some functions that were better managed at the grassroots level. Health, agriculture, uh, um, water reticulation in, 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 in towns amongst uh, other issues. I am a very proud Kenyan that we are having this debate because it, it signifies a paradigm shift from what the debate has been. For a long time, political competition has been about you know, which community is ganging up with which community to form which lineup so that they can go to the polls. But what is happening now is that the Kenyan public are asking, community aside, where you come from aside, we want to know what is in it for us? What have you done? And, and that is a very big shift from what it has been. Hayo ya kijiri kuengine kwa wanasiasa kadhao mifika mbele ya kamati ya nidhamu ya chama cha ODM kuelezea wanasujua kuhusu ghasia zilizotokea katika maeneo yao miongoni mwa waliohojiwa ni mbunge wa Ruraka TJ Kajwang gavana wa Busia Suspita Ojemong na mwenzaki wa Migori Okoth Obado kamati hiyo inatarajiwa kutoa taarifa baadaye It is not possible that they can come to a fair conclusion without hearing my take on it um, I have done the best I can, and with all honesty and with truth, uh, not only for the sake of the people of Waraka, but for the p sake of members of ODM who are hurting uh, countrywide at the turn of events that uh, violence has generally taken uh, in uh, the process of nominations. Um, there have been issues around uh, nomination campaigns. There have also been issues around uh, management of uh, party headquarters. Uh, there have been issues on management of goons and uh, supporters uh, and that kind of thing. Mwana habari wetu Jeff Kiruya anafuatilia vikao hivyo vya kamati ya nidhamu ya chama cha ODM na atakuwa anatueleza baadaye kuhusiana na ya liojiri ya kina nani ambao tayari wameweza kuhojiwa na ripoti ambayo itatolewa na kamati hiyo baadaye uh, lakini tukisalia na masuala ya siasa wanachama wa Amani National Congress yani ANC inayoongozwa na Musale Mudavadi wametishia kuwa wanatafuta kiti cha urais kivyao endapo Mudavadi hatateuliwa kupeperusha bendera ya na Wajumbe hao kutoka katika kaunti za magharibi mwa Kenya kama vile Kakamega, Bungoma, Busia, Vihiga na Transnzoia wamesema Musali ndiye anastahili kupewa nafasi hiyo. Baadaye waliandamana katika barabara za mji wa Kakamega wakiwa na mabango na vipeperushi vya kumpigia debe Mudavadi. Hapo 
ya nyumba ya mtu na ufike katika nyumba ya mtu tena ugeuke umwambie atoke bedroom wewe uingie ulale na katika mambo ya NASA NASA ni vyama mbili peke yake kuna msali ya mdavadi na ANC na kuna code ambayo iko na Raila Kalonzo na Wetangula sasa code wanapokuja wao wana present mtu mmoja peke yake sisi kama ANC wenye nyumba pia mtu wetu ni Wycliffe Msalia mdavadi sasa negotiations wale watu ambao wa, wako katika timu ya kunegotiate sijui wana vichwa maji ama namna gani sijui wanafikiria namna gani sisi kama ANC tunajua msali ya mdavadi is the better option for Kenya the Luya nation and as the ANC fraternity today in unison we are saying that we are giving an ultimatum to the NASA principles we shall not accept anything less than presidency The issue of chief minister is an, an issue because it is not even enshrined in the constitution of Kenya. Yes. We are saying we want a constitutional office and the constitutional office that the Luya nation is eyeing is the, the presidency. Tukiachana na siasa za NASA na kuingia katika siasa za jubilii, naibu wa speaker katika bunge la seneti Kembi Gitura ameipongeza hatua ya chama cha jubilii kuwatimua maafisa waliopatikana na tuhuma za kuchapisha na kuuza stakabadhi gushi kwa waniaji. Na katika kaunti ya Embu, siasa za ugavana zinazidi kushika kasi huku walitarajiwa kuteuliwa kuwa mgombea mwenza wa mbunge wa Runyenjes Cecil Mbarire, Henry Murage akidai kuchezwa shere. Shadrack Miti ana maelezo zaidi. Joto la siasa katika chama cha Jubilee linazidi kushuhudiwa. Katika juhudi za kusaka tikiti ya kuwania nyadhifa mbalimbali, baadhi ya waniaji wanadaiwa kula nyama na baadhi ya maafisa katika makao makuu ya chama hicho ili kuchapisha na kuuza stakabadhi gushi. Hali iliyoisha kutimuliwa kwa maafisa husika. Na sasa seneta Omuranga aliye pia naibu wa speaker kwenye seneti Kembi Getura ameisifu hatua hiyo iliyochukuliwa na uongozi wa chama cha Jubilee. Because you can imagine what would have happened if what they were planning to do had gone through and uh, how much havoc that would have wreaked in a party that you have so painstakingly built to show to give to give what has been um, evading us for so many years a free and fair nomination. Katika kaunti ya Embu, Kenya ngairo cha ugavana kinazidi kuibua misimamo, mitazamo na miungano tofauti. Siku moja baada ya mwaniaji ugavana kupitia tiketi ya jubili Cecil Mbarire kumzindua Dickson Murunguma kuwa mgombea mwenza madai ya siasa za ubaguzi kwa misingi ya koo katika kaunti ya Embu yameibuliwa. Henry Murage anayedai kufanya makubaliano na Mbarire kwamba angekuwa mgombea mwenza wake amedai kwamba mbunge huyo Runyenjes alimchezae shere kwa kumtema na badala yake kumteua Kinyemela bwana Murunguma. Hata. These consultations settled on Dixon Juke Murunguma as my running mate and the deputy governor for Embu County under my government. She named another person who is Dixon Murunguma. That was yesterday morning. I must uh, confess that that was disappointing to me and my constituents and I felt disappointed. Yaelekea dau lake Mbarire katika safari ya kuutoa ugavana wa Embu linazidi kupigwa na mawimbi. Tayari aliyekuwa mfuasi na mshirika wake mkuu katika kampeni zake Andrew Msakwa amekigura chama cha Jubilee na kujiunga naye seneta Len Kivuti anayempinga Mbarire kupitia maendeleo chaptap. Shadrack Miti, KT News. Wanasiasa wanazidi kubadili mirengo na vyama mkondo wa mchuju unapoadia na sasa baadhi ya viongozi maeneo ya Narok wamesema wamo chama cha mashinani maeneo kambani wa punde zaidi kuhama ni mbunge wa Yata Francis Mwangangi akihama jubilii na kuelekea chama cha uzalendo miezi michache baada ya kuhama Waipa Makna Maswa anaarifu Mbunge wa Yata Francis Mwangangi sasa yumo kwenye chama cha uzalendo CCU baada ya miezi kadhaa ya kuunga chama cha Jubilee. Kumekuwa na mkataba, mkataba wa CCU na mkataba wa Waipa. Na huo mkataba 
ni clear ni kama mchana na usiku candidate wa NASA katika upande wa governor ni mbi madam wa Vinyandeti akiwa CCU Mwangangi ametangaza msimamo wake kuhusu muungano wa NASA na uwezekano wa Kalonzo Musyoka kupeperusha bendera ya urais na akikosa ni nani atalaumiwa in case Kalonzo Musyoka is not the presidential candidate because we as a community we believe he is the best bet for the presidency come uh, uh, August this year under NASA ikiwa hiyo itawezekana tutamblame mtu mmoja kwa sababu sasa yeye mudhama amerudi pande ile nyingine yeye anaangalia tu laila mpira ukiwa uwanjani mwa Johnson Mudhama Ukambani maeneo ya Narok Kusini na Magharibi chama cha mashinani kiliota mizizi gavana Isaac Ruto akipewa jukumu maalum tumemtuma yeye aenda akaongee na viongozi wale viongozi wanaojiita NASA aenda aongee na wao viongozi asikizane na wao viongozi awaeleze mahitaji yetu yenye sisi tunataka hapa na Rock South na na Rock West wakikubaliana a, wakikubaliana tumemtuma aende aongee chama cha mashinani hakijatangaza rasmi kwamba kitaunga mkono NASA au jubilii lakini hali ya anga ya siasa inabalika kasi mkondo wa mchujo wanasiasa wakitafuta hema za kujinusuru Mark na Maswa KTN News Tunaelekea akaunti ya Kilifi sasa ambapo kiongozi wa Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka anaendeleza kampeni za Waipa katika kaunti hiyo. Na mtapata taarifa hiyo baadaye. Hivi sasa tuelekee mahakamani ambapo mwanamziki Charles Kanye maarufu Jagwa ameachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi 1500 kufuatia kesi ambayo anashtakiwa kwa kusababisha vifo vya watu wawili. Jagwa anatuhumiwa kwa kumgonga na kumua Mugo Mwangi mnamo tarehe 21 mwezi uliopita katika barabara ya Sagana Makutano ambapo alikuwa akiendesha gari aina ya Range Rover nambari ya usajili KCB 880S aidha anatuhumiwa kwa kuendesha gari kwa njia ya kuhatarisha maisha ya umma pamoja na mauaji ya abiria wa bodaboda ya Mugo Mwangi Joseph Maingi Kaina Hakimu mkuu wa Baricho Evans Keage amesema kesi hiyo itatajwa tena mnamo Mei tarehe tano huku tarehe ya kesi kusikizwa ikiratibiwa kuwa Juni tarehe 26 tuelekea ekipi lakini tunasalia mahakamani ambapo mbunge wa ekipi ya East Matthew Lemperkel hana mashtaka ya kujibu dhidi ya tuhuma zilizomwandama kuhusu uchochezi na mauaji ya Mwingereza Tristan Vuspai Uh, jaji Evans Ngugi alitoa uamuzi huo baada ya upande wa mashtaka kueleza kuwa hawakupata ushahidi wa kutosha kumhusisha mbunge Limpurkel katika mauaji ya Mwingereza huyo. Limpurkel alituhumiwa kwa kuongoza uvamizi wa mashamba ya wenyewe sehemu mbalimbali katika kaunti ya Laikipia, moja wapo ikiwa shamba la Sosian linalomilikiwa na marehemu Vuspai. Marehemu aliuawa wakati alipokuwa ameenda kukagua uharibifu uliosababishwa na watu wanaodaiwa kuwa wenyeji wa Laikipia waliochochewa na viongozi ngozi kuvamia mashamba ya wenyewe kwa msingi wa kutafuta lishe kutokana na ukame. Tuangazie masuala ya afya katika kaunti ya Meru ambapo gavana wa Meru Pita Munya amelalamikia kiwango cha juu cha fedha zinazotumika kuwalipa mishahara wa hudumu wa afya akisema kiwango hiki kina fionza na kunyima idara zingine fedha. Munya amesema sasa nyongeza ya mishahara na marupurupu kwa madaktari inatishia kukwamisha shughuli zingine za kaunti. So when you hear us complaining and saying we can't afford more salary increases, it's because of what already the budget is so skewed, especially the health sector. We are spending a huge chunk. If you are five billion or six billion, and you are spending two billion in one, you can imagine. Become weaker. 